I'm actually introing this video. I know you guys are probably thinking, okay, it's Sunday, so we get another Sunday match, right? I'm currently three down on the Sunday matches, but you guys aren't getting a Sunday match today. I'm actually gonna be uploading this video as a little different Sunday video. We're gonna be going back in time, and we're gonna be going through this last year of Sunday matches. Obviously, we do not have that many left. We have four Sunday matches left if I win and continue to move on. Obviously, if I lose this next Sunday match that we end up filming, then I'm gonna lose, and then we won't have four left. That's pretty obvious, but instead of doing a Sunday match today, we wanted to go back, watch a bunch of clips, and play some best of moments of the Sunday matches. So, hope you guys do enjoy this video. I know it's a little different, but Bradley, roll the clips. Let's go. Anyway, back with another video today. This is gonna be the first episode of, we don't know what we're gonna call it, but it's gonna be Mike and I playing nine hole matches. They're gonna be coming every Sunday, so if you guys wanna stay tuned for more in the future, this is the first winter golf challenge that we're doing nine holes out of Dove's Dread today. We're just gonna progress and do these throughout the year, so hopefully you guys do enjoy the nine hole matches between Mike and I. If you do, let us know in the comments down below. Real golf, real courses, real clubs, no gimmicks. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this first episode. Every Sunday, stay tuned guys. Two to one in the total tally of who's won the matches. So we're playing Palmer Course at Disney in Orlando. That is such a good looking cut shot. They're probably gonna have a wedge in from there. Really good shot. He has the advantage so far. Oh, that could be right. That might not be in play. Oh, wow. So apparently I almost took that guy out. If I hook it, I hook it, and this is the hole to hook it on, so. <laughs> if I could teleport right now, I would teleport to Duncan, and then I would teleport back, so that way I could have some Duncan for this back nine. I will never be able to do that. Maybe so Elon Musk. I'll slide into Elon's DMs and see if he can get that going for me. <laughs> it's cold, but I'm feeling good today. I'll go in. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my. That was like a bubble hook. You're kidding. Bro, no way. You really got to bang the putts today. Oh, get in. That's in. He's just going to walk off the green and... I... Yeah! That's the golf that people came to see, baby. I just gave Weck one of those good birdies I made. Alright guys, welcome back to another GM Golf Sunday match. Micah vs. Gara. Today we are out here at Purcell Farms. <laughs> I haven't, I just drank coffee, so I can't really talk that well right now. I haven't been playing the best the last couple days, but no, seriously, yesterday was really shaky. Get right. Oh, good bounce. What the? Great bounce. What was that? That's, that's probably the best shot I've seen Micah hit in any Sunday match we've played. And guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been really, I've really been working on my left and right, and I think it's paying off. Oh my gosh. Guys, did you just see that? Got over, gonna be just right of the green. Pretty good shot. Okay, really good shot. On the green? 
for a par. That left bunker looks tasty down there. Get going. Across the car path? <laughs> Where did it land? Uh, I thought it was perfect. I literally thought it landed in the bunker, like just at the bunker's distance and I can't see, I'm blinder than a bat. <gasps> Micah is still blind. That's that's the best drive I've actually ever seen him hit on this hole. Like, by far the best tee shot I've ever seen you hit on this hole. That's gonna go to the left. What? It did go to the left. I meant that it was gonna go to the right. But it did go to the left. <laughs> so you were right. <laughs> I literally got that right on accident. Oh wow, I've never seen him hit a drive this good on this hole. Dude, I've been hitting it. This hole is my hole. It's crazy to say because I couldn't hit broadside of a barn back there and the background back there if I ever tried back in the day when we were playing in the winter. Oh no, oh no, oh no! He did this against Martin and I with Parker. Straight downhill, straight down sun. Oh, what? Be good. Get in the hole. Go. Go. We're at the cart right there to the middle of the green, 284 yards, one yard away. Micah hitting driver off the deck through the trees. Okay, that's actually long of the green. It's not on the green, but that's just to prove to you guys that Micah did hit it far enough to get it there. It's okay to be happy, Garrett. I need to, I need to run and jump in the pond or something. I, I, this moment right now is it's a moment I'm gonna cherish for a while. It feels like nothing I've experienced in a very long time. Um, obviously, early on coming into the matches, I had won a couple times, tied once. Now it's 10 and a half to three and a half. Still sounds pretty bad when you say it, but you know, at least it's not 11 and a half. Garrett came out with the victory, and you know, I don't know why I'm smiling right now. I'm, I guess I'm kind of happy for him. Um, I'm also just like a little bit in shock, so. <laughs> he barely clears the water there. Unbelievable. I'm down. Um, I. One time when, when I was in college and I was living with Garrett, we were on this property and there was this hill. It was about a 45 degree angle. And me and Garrett were on bikes. And we came to this hill and he got off his bike and he pushed his bike up the hill. And he told me that I would never be able to actually like ride up the hill because it was, it was at least 45 degrees and it was like probably 60 or 70 feet. So he pushed his bike up the hill and I tried to pedal up it, like actually ride up it, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I did it like three times with him watching me. And then he said, Mikey, you're not gonna do that, it's too hard, and he left. And I stayed there for three and a half hours, and it took me 80 attempts, and I was literally so tired, like I couldn't even feel my legs, but I got it, and I rode out of there, and I rode home. So all that to say, I've been in very tough positions, I have overcome, so I think that with two holes left here, I definitely think that I can still come out with a win here and overcome this rough play. So <laughs> I remember that we're going to playoff holes from now on. We're not doing any more ties. Deal or no deal? I'll take a deal. All right, it's a pretty easy little trip, honestly. Yeah, that's how you want to play it. That's honestly that is how you want to play it. <laughs> Garrett now eyeing this one down. Look at that. I tell you. I just addressed the fact that right now is the absolute perfect time to bass fish. 77 degrees about, and right before like some storm, the air pressure is a little higher. Bass are uh, a little more towards the top of the water, if I'm not mistaken. I could actually be totally wrong on that. <laughs> He's hitting it so good today, guys. That might be long. That's actually long. Pretty touchy little chip. 
Oh my. That is some of the best touch. I hit that too hard. Hit the pin, please. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, God. That was off the green. That was off the green. <laughs> I don't know. It's 300 yards to the green. Guys, you know we don't really lay up that often on this channel, so... No, that doesn't need to sit, Micah. I don't think. At the back nine out here at first turn. We're gonna miss this place the most, so. Yeah. Y'all become fame. I guess you could say I miss it. I do miss Purcell Farms. It, that place just feels like home. Jeez. Guys, he's just a freaking beast. Oh my god. Wait, did that go over the fairway? And that is a really good chip. I'm gonna set the camera down right now. Oh. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I thought that laid it in the hole at the first. It, uh, yeah. I can't even find my words. Medium black coffee, two chocolate glazed donuts. I will spill that coffee right on my- I'm so glad I stuck that little ball marker in the ground. It took you three tries for the last time. I still don't know why I agreed to this. Should I not let Micah use my two iron? Ooh. Because technically that's illegal. Yeah, because you can't like swap clubs. It's like- You're going to do that after we've played 18 matches of me using it? In the comments down below for the next match. Anyway, let us anyway. Know. <laughs> that's hit so hard, guys. Uh, guys, Mike is stepping some ant. Hi, I'm getting bit too. Bro, we stepped in some ant. Oh my, I'm getting bit too, guys. Oh, the, the wonder, right where I'm about to hit my shot. That's it. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. All right, so Garrett has about 30 yards here, and he's got 60 degrees. Oh no. Little intermission here after hole four. Guys, we just hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. I still can't believe it. This channel has come such a long way since it started. Oh my gosh. Hey, at least I lost on a birdie. Martin showed up to caddy for me and brought the shake and bake energy, but unfortunately it was not enough and I lost the match two and one. No freaking way. Guys, they're getting closer, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it was the golf course though. This golf course is so nice. Some of the best greens that I've ever putted on. Garrett looks way taller than I do right now. It's pretty unfortunate. Maybe one day it gets to a point where it's almost tied up. I'm getting dominated as you guys already know. But today we're out here at the Colonial, which hosts the Charles, Char I can't Charles Swab. Charles, Charles, Charles Swab, Swab Championship. Swab. Sorry, it's a tongue twister, all right? It's gonna be a good time, honestly, to be able to play a same course that tour players are gonna be playing. I think it's gonna be cool for me and Garrett's games just to see how we play on a course that they're gonna play on. The fairways are so tight, there's tons of trees. So it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm excited to be able to play a course that all the guys are gonna be playing next week. It's cool, yeah. not gonna lie. That might go in the freaking hole. Oh. What? So this is our hundredth hole of our Sunday matches. There's no way that's true, dude. Take nine holes. 24 times nine. Nine holes. <laughs> 24 times, times nine. But he said 15 matches, so he was wrong. Anyways, we're out here at Hackberry Country Club down here in Dallas, Texas. Oh. Oh my Finally, gosh. Finally, one goes straight and is not spinning out of control. I'm feeling like it's time to hit a good putt because it's sad how bad it is right now. I'm right, at, right after he's talking about like not putting well with that putter, just put the pin in. And that is hit really good. It's, it's on the same line as mine. Get under the tree or get over it. See? 
That's what mine was supposed to do. All right, guys, Garrett has like a three footer right here to win. Unfortunately, I took the L today. That's what happens when you make birdies like Garrett has done today. So it's been really good putt. Good match. Hey, th thanks, thanks, Dad. Like Thank you, Dad. Appreciate you. Green, there's a bar size of a nickel. So you gotta hit a dime. <laughs> what an adventure of a hole we've had. Tig long, eyes short. <laughs> what did I just say? That's pretty good. That might go in the hole. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Trying to have a fist fight? I'll throw hands any day of the week. You name a time and place. Yeah. We're gonna box each other in six months. Whoa, should we? Should we actually box each other? That would be unfair. I don't think I really want to do that boxing thing because I probably might like actually get my face rearranged. Of course, we got Tig over here. He's letting his hair down for a second. We are out here at Sunflower Hills. Again, you guys have seen this course probably many times. Our home course here in Kansas City. That was hit pretty good. And that was... See, this is the kind of stuff right here that just, it really just kind of, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm about six tigs away from the hole. Oh no. And that is probably at the 17, maybe that might be more at the 20 feet mark. Might as well just stand on the first tee and just hand it to you for free. Ladies, how do we do? <laughs> He did this last time we played a match out here. I can't really tell. I'm absolutely baffled that you think that was perfect. That was good. Gotta sit. Gotta sit tomorrow. I heard it hit something. No. That, that's a little left of mine. That's that's where you want to hit it, ideally. Yeah. See how that kicks left? You guys probably see it on your screen. What if the world is a simulation? <laughs> We're not actually living here. We're just comfortable. Still have it. So I'm hungry on the way to the course, right? And you guys know Panda Express, they give out the fortune cookies. So He's I, literally getting emotional right now. <laughs> no, 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 we're good, we're good. So we pull up to the course and I open my fortune cookie right before the match. And it says, you've got this one in the bag. I'm not kidding, guys. So the fortune cookies never lie, baby. Let's go. Woo! Good match. That may just, that's gonna be right of the green, but that's really good. Guys. That was nice. That might be on the right edge of the green or just off the green. Let's see what time it is, just so you guys can understand exactly what is happening today. It's currently 6.38. In today's Sunday match, Micah and I are driving six hours to Illinois to go play TPC Deer Run, a PGA Tour course, lots of trees. It's just a fun course in general. So 12 hours of driving, four and a half hours of golf. It's gonna be a long day. I'm gonna go pick up Tig and we're gonna get into this adventure. Sunday match number 28. Hopefully you guys are having a great Sunday. Let's get right into this video. Tig is correct. I should be asleep for another 17 hours. Get in the car, get in the car. <sighs> I'm gonna do two sausage and cheese croissants. Croissants. Freaking go. In today's Sunday match, we're tipping it out. I think it would be really cool. It's just to test our limits and play these same exact yardages that the pros would play if they were out here at TPC Deer Run. Get up the right side, pretty perfect. A little draw.
and that's just peeling right back into the fairway. That was really good. Yep. Pretty good. It's literally double his size. <laughs> it literally makes you look so small. Uh, whatever. That was beautiful. That actually is probably going to be so close. It hit that tree and probably slowed it down. <laughs> yes! Yes! This is why I love golf. This is why I love golf, baby. This is why. This is why I love this sport. Look at that. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. That's probably the best shot I've hit, like, ever. I'm going to go tap it in. That's good, right? It's raining today, so it's gonna be a really interesting Sunday match. We've never done anything like this before. Every Sunday match is either windy or good conditions, but today, it is raining. The rain is not letting up. Okay, just the fact that he got that out like that is super impressive. That does have to go. This is going right at it. I think that's long. It's also left. The wind is pushing it hard today. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, it's not long, it's just super far left. that come all the way back out. Don't tell him I said this, but I'm pretty positive he's in the hazard. And once again, guys, I was never out of this match. He said, trust me, you're not back in this match. And I replied to him, I said, I was never out of it. See, that's the thing. He thought mentally I was out of it, but my mental game is getting stronger to the point where I'm never out of it. You gotta have the winning mentality, gotta stay positive. Okay, that almost landed in a hole. Looking through the camera, that scared me a little bit. Think positive, manifest. Get in the, uh, get out of the bunk. Go, get on the green, golly, go. This is about the easiest oh. bunker shot in the I'm world. Sometimes it goes straight. Lie or lie too. That was a good swing. And like I told you, if there was ever a time for him to make a birdie, it would be right now. <laughs> it sucks that the day that I'm like super undialed, take is super dialed. Give them to me. Okay. Gotta give them a little fit. Yeah, give them a little. It's time to sit back and relax yeah. and enjoy the show. And enjoy the show. Just absolutely pummeled right up the center. And depending on the bounce that that gets, it could be farther than mine. It's all mental, man. It's all mental. Like, ah. I love winning. <laughs> Into the sun. Probably won't see the ball down unless we're doing tracers in today's match. Look at that. Perfect right side of the fairway. Good shot there for Tig. Yep, and that's perfect. Hopefully it doesn't hit the car back. Well, it didn't hit it very good, but it's in the fairway. Oh, what? Where'd they end up? 
literally just have a coyote. Charles, what are you doing out here? Hi, how are you doing? My name is Garrett. What's your name? Easy. What's your name? Why is he following Dude, me? Have you seen That's, that? Geez, I'm not chicken legs, man. Dude, it's our mascot. I literally loved it. I enjoy your company. Thank you for joining. Thank I'm five down. Lose track of money. Dude. <laughs> We're not gonna be able to film this, but we're gonna try. There is a storm coming our way, which we might die, but we're gonna still film. Honestly, we're not gonna do too much of an intro. Yeah, I mean, like you said, there's a storm brewing out here, and there's also, we got some weather coming in as well, so the storm is our match. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my gosh! I just made par. That was really good. I think that's okay. Yeah, it gets a kick to the right off of that hill. So really good shot. I am proud of you. Got that right and left figured out. Tig, we still gotta work on his right and left for him to be able to drive. That's not how you treat the two iron. If you're gonna try and claim and say that's yours. He's gonna treat it like that. That's not good. He's gonna lose privileges, guys. I will take the privileges away if he continues to do that. Whatever, I, I can't see. I don't know my lefts and my rights. I don't know, what's next, guys? If I win this match, I get it to three down after, I believe, 35 matches. Today we are out at Twin Creeks. I thought he was gonna do it. I've never seen you hit this many good putts in a row. I'm two down, two to play. Is it likely that I come back? Yes. Is it going to happen? Absolutely. Am, am I going to take this into a playoff hole and win? Yes. Yes, that's going to happen. Oh, that bird flying with the ball in the background needs to be in the intro. There's gonna be something that happens at the end of the year that's gonna be intense, and that means you need to be close to being tied up to me. I wanna keep winning. I'm gonna need you to figure out how to make that happen. All right, 370 yard par four, but with the wind, it is drivable. to get up there and see what that green does because we both carried those just to the left of the right of the pin That's literally the best golf shot I've ever seen in my entire life. In my, hands down, in my entire life, I've never seen a shot that good. I ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. <laughs> just like that. This is for seven, that's for a triple bogey. All right, let's see if I can make an eight. If, if it's an eight, 8,000 likes on this video. Shoot, potentially 9,000 likes? There we go. Guys, let's take a moment. A moment to focus up. A moment to understand the situation. A moment to visualize birdies. Actually an eagle here, because it's a par five, 480 yards. Let's go, baby. I might be down, but I'm not out. It's a minor setback, major comeback. Four is left, two down. I'm gonna win these last four. I don't know, I feel it. I gotta feel it. I gotta see it, feel it, trust it. No, no with that foot. Dude, I couldn't hold on to the club. Okay, it's gonna be hard to see, but that's gonna be just right at the pin. I am in shock. I am literally in shock right now. We are out here at TPC Scottsdale, which, if you guys didn't already know this, they play the PGA Tour Waste Management Golf Tournament out here, and we're starting this match on hole 16.
little bit to the right. For his birdie. No way. I can't believe you. All right, guys, get it for birdie and then tie the hole. What did we just do? 16th hole, we just made double birdie. That's not what I expected. Oh, it hit the it rake. The it hit the rake and bounced into the bunker. Literally, it was going to be perfect. What a shot. That is unbelievable, guys. Perfect speed, perfect time. What a Baby. Part. Solid verity from the young man. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, and you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, man. Is it good? Okay. That was an epic part. I'll take that any day. It ends with one. If you guys look back at the history of the matches, I started down eight to two, I believe. And like, I've gotten it back. My like smallest deficit has been down three matches. So hopefully I can kind of climb this back up, maybe win a few more matches. And I really have to because it's coming down to the wire. Oh my, yes. Look at it guys. Oh my ripper mango. Oh my god. It feels good though. Oh my gosh, the golf game feels good, baby. Guys, this this is getting crazy. Literally that could be it, guys. Hey, those are the ones that just feel so good. Mm. Hey, the stroke feeling good. Like that was a bad segment, isn't it? Interesting how golf works, isn't it, guys? Sometimes you get good shots that end up bad, and bad shots that end up good. It's the right idea. I mean, that's on the green, probably. It's probably green, right? He may have just taken advantage of this. That is an excellent shot. Dang it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my actions, okay? I've used the camera a little bit too much sometimes. I got I kinda gotta quit slapping you guys. Oh, Garrett picked a good time to hit a good drive. Pummeled right down the center. Playing this pop fly freaking slides to the right. Garrett took a second to wipe out his pack of leaves here and hopefully nothing blows in there. Sit down. He called to his other leaf friends and now they just all erupted. You get nice and low. Don't need to sit, dig. Three feet long instead of two feet long. It's short. By the title of the video, you guys already know. This is the worst conditions we have ever played a Sunday match in. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's crazy the ball's not spinning because it's got a little layer of water on it. And it just went dead straight. That just went in! Yeah. Holy crap. I just made that. Oh, it just went right through the tree. Woo! See what they can do here. Hand three. Nice shot. Almost two chip ins and two holes from up me. Nice yes. car. Woo! I'm on fire, guys. Oh my, he's getting so unlucky. Dude, he's burnt two edges in a row. I honestly feel bad. Beautiful. 
Hopefully that clears the water. <laughs> Gosh, that feels good. You're just a different breed right now. And That's Garrett, cash is in for par. That's good to know. And I just did that for literally four and a half hours straight, 1,500 putts. I wrote every single putt down. It was insane. <laughs> I actually did that. <laughs> well, I, and I was out trying to hold a 300 foot putt at the top of a parking garage probably at that same exact time. Probably. So there's the difference, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting the scene for the biggest comeback in Sunday match history. I gotta keep the confidence up though. Can't let that be. Alright guys, this is your point. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. I thought that was in. I thought as that was in. As soon as I hit it past the hole, I was like, that's it. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. That is what you guys want to see. Leave a like. Coming down the stretch. Two solid shots in there. He made it. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to make my putt. What a shot. What a time to show up. Yes! Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next Sunday match. I'm currently three down. What an up and down, stressful Sunday match that was. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, guys.